Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marino Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Matthew, chapter 11, verses 16 to 19. Jesus said to the crowds, To what shall I compare this generation? It is like children who sit in marketplaces and call to one another. We played the flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge, but you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they said, He is possessed by a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they said, Look, he is a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is vindicated by her works. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. But wisdom is vindicated by her works. The original language that the Gospels were written in was Greek, and in Greek, the word for wisdom is Sophia. Jesus, the second person in the Trinity, is wisdom incarnate, and the third person, the Holy Spirit, is often referred to as Sophia, i.e. wisdom, in the Gospels. So this denotes that the Holy Spirit can be personified as a she, as Matthew alludes to in today's Gospel. This is important to understand because both feminine and masculine energies are crucial for the building of the kingdom of God, let alone life. So like how the Holy Trinity is the ultimate representation of the union through perfect relationship between the three persons, without making an effort to be in harmonious relationship with our fellow brothers and sisters, we will be walking away from God's kingdom not towards it. In the harsh judgments we make towards others, we not only act unwisely, but denigrate the loving image and likeness of God that each and every one of us are made in. So looking to the Holy Spirit, may we be ever guided by the loving wisdom that she imparts, especially during times of conflict and hardships. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and wisdom-filled day. If you enjoyed today's Gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at MaryKnollSociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing, to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at marinolmagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.